Lindor and I'm here with a bullet journal video for March which also happens to be the month of my birthday so I wanted something nice and bright for my birthday and or well, for my birthday month and I don't usually go for yellow things but I've been watching a lot of B videos on YouTube lately and uh, I watch YouTube while I'm studying it's or doing art projects and stuff so I've been watching a lot of videos on bees lately so I felt that I would do that for like do a bee themed month and there's this one guy I watch and every time he finds the queen I have the Queen song, Fat Bottom Girls, running through my head because the Queens have um, a much larger back end, let's say. So I wrote out a bit of the chorus from uh, the Queen song as my quote this week. So. It's not really a motivational quote, it's just a quote to go with the theme. So I have drawn out all of this honeycomb pattern prior to doing this video simply because I didn't want it to take forever for me to draw it out and plan it out because it was um, sort of a honeycomb it doesn't sort of go for each dot sort of thing some of it's sort of you got to draw a line to in between the dots on the dot grid when you're doing them this small so it really needed to be mapped out prior to filming this video and I'd actually had it mapped out for about a week before I got a chance to actually sit down and film it because I was doing uh, my final assignments for my study period and it was a bit hectic because I'm right at the end of my university degree um, the units are they have a bit of a heavy workload so I've been busy as a bee I suppose you could say pun completely intended so <laughs> now I'm drawing some dripping honey around the edges and where I've done the bee head in orange sort of come in and color it in in black later on because it sort of was annoying me so this is just an introductory page for the month and this month I did the Friday and the Saturday as one page rather than doing it in February and I'm I'm not going to do that anymore because it's just I figure the month with the most days in it gets that week is how it's going to be from now on I am also getting an Erin Condren life planner um, if you're inclined to Erin Condren, Aaron Condren life planners you should probably look at getting one now though you will miss out on using the first couple of months they are 40% off right now as of filming and doing the voiceover so they are 
definitely worth a look if you want to try them out because they are a very expensive purchase and 40% off is a pretty good deal. So here I'm basically marking the days of the week by colouring in every second column. That way I can sort of tell just at glancing at it whether it's a Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And I think I'm going to change my calendars in maybe next month or in a couple of months to starting with the Monday instead of the Sunday because I'm going to be using my Erin Condren planner as well as my book journal and the Erin Condren planner has the weekends at the end of the weekend days at the end of the week and I think it will just be easier for me to coordinate between my bullet journal and my planner when I have them both written up the same way and I can't change the way the Erin Condren is because it's obviously not as flexible as my bullet journal but I will still be doing both and I will probably be doing plan with me's on the Erin Condren on this channel as well so we'll see how that goes But maybe not the first couple of months that I'm getting used to it. I'll probably still do my bullet journal, but I probably won't do the Erin Condren for a couple of months, just until I get the hang of it. I did my bullet journal for a couple of months before I started filming that as well. And it's just so that I can get the hang of it without having to worry about the stress of getting things right and perfect for you guys. So my camera cut out here and I drew these flowers and one has 16 petals and one has 15. They are going to be my mood tracker for the month. I have a monthly to-do list on the left page, which I haven't filled out yet. And I have the Friday and Saturday of the, the little tail end of the week that's in March. Now, I do come back in later and firm up the black lines on the center of those bees. And I colored them in gray on the faces. And I don't know, I don't think it was any better than the white. But I do come in later and actually make the lines a little bit darker than they are right now. Now I'm filling out these tiny little hexagons for markers for my monthly to-do list. tried doing the crisscross method before going down on the side bits and I was losing the place of where I was so I thought it was better to just go and do these sidelines first. So here is the key for my for my mood checker. With the little faces inside the flowers and because there is only two days in the first week of March I am going to do a second weekly spread. As you can see I'm continuing on with the honeybee theme actually really really enjoyed how this turned out and I've actually got the next few weeks planned out as well I've actually got the whole of March planned out I just didn't uh, draw it in 
when I was recording this. But since I'm in a new study period, I do do a, it's basically a study period calendex for both of my units that I'm taking the study period. We, the way I do my university over here is I have two units every study period so for three months and then you change and do another two units you can do more than two units but um, at the end of the degrees the study load is really heavy so I've just kept it to the two units So I probably should have done the university calendex before March, but I didn't think about it until after I'd drawn out March. So I'm just putting it sort of right at the end of when my March spreads will be. As you can see, I've already penciled them out, but I won't be doing them until halfway through next week, this week, upcoming, whatever. So. This is the calendex for my two units and I used to put all this information on a whiteboard in my room but now that I'm using my whiteboard for content creation um, I've just put the calendex in my bullet journal. Now, I'm still not 100% sure on what I'm doing for my, uh, one of my units is sort of a, a self-styled project unit and there is one assignment that's on um, promoting your brand, so I will probably be doing a lot of videos and social media this well late this month and into next month so this study period shouldn't affect my posting as much as last study period did all that's left to do here is mark the weekends I will do that with two different colors so that each unit in this study period has its own color I find it's just easier visually for me and then I'll be going over the pages for this month so far that I have already colored and set up. I really like that green pen. I'm going to have to do a spread with green in it. A lot more green in it. So I'm not too worried about these being pretty. They just have to be functional. So here we'll do an overview of the bullet journal spreads this month so far. And don't mind me, my camera was crooked. <laughs> so we'll start off with the March introductory page or the title page with some honeycomb, some honey, a queen bee and the queen quote and my birthday coloured in yellow on the little calendar. Then we have the month with alternating days colored in yellow so that I know which days are what. We have my Friday and Saturday of the first week of March, my monthly to do. And then we have these flowers that will be my mood tracker. 
then we have the next week with some flowers and I may put some of those bees in this down the bottom as well and then we have my calendex spread for the next three months for my study period for my two units this study period and I'll fill in the rest of the dates later so that was my bullet journaling set up for the month of March. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys were inspired by it. It doesn't have to be complicated, it just has to be fun. So thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.